a little bit about our little pug mill here. A friend of ours made it a number of years ago. It's small on the pug mill size, but it, it works for us. It's literally pugged tens of tons of clay over the years. What happens is this is the little hopper, and we blend two clays together. The two clays go in here, and there's two augers in here. Let's blend and, and combine the clays, and then squish it through the small hole, and it comes out pretty much wedged. Uh, what I like to do is I like to pug a whole bunch, or pug me a mountain. If I'm lucky, my son pugs, and I'm not that lucky very often, but I, get a, I like to pug up a lot of clay, and then I just break it into sections or small pieces, then wedge up what I need for that day. The clay, as you can see, is two different kinds of clay. This one is a very smooth and I call cream cheesy clay. Uh, this one is a coarser, and you can see it's a, it's a different clay, is a coarser and sandier, groggier clay. They're both the same cone firing. When I mix them together, it's not too soft, it's not too coarse, it's just right. You can see here's the two different kinds. What I'm going to do is mix them. I cut them into slices and mix them. That way we don't have a de-error on our pug mill. So I like to just smack it a bit. Also there's some wet stuff in this clay. Uh, when I'm throwing, I tend to throw on, I put on too much clay. And as I throw, I get rid of a lot of clay. And that's uh, just put back in with the other stuff and put through the pug mill. So none of it's wasted. So I'm just gonna pull on this. See it pushes down the auger, uh, so it pushes down through the hopper, forces it through the two augers, and out this little three inch hole. And it's a slow process if you have any daydreaming or, or grocery lists to make or <laughs> summer plans to make, it's a good time just to. I'm pushing this out, it's going on to a plastic, like I said, the, this is a moistened down spray bottle. That way when I wrap it up, I know it will be nice and soft and ready to go. The hopper is almost empty, so I just put in some more. I like mixing a little bit of the stuff off the wheel into it. It makes the clay softer. And I guess one of the signs of aging is soft clay. You see it? I like all the uh, pugs about the same length, so then I know when I do production that this is about a, a 12 inch bowl, there's a 10 inch bowl, there's an 8 inch bowl. I know by the length of the pug how how much is going to, what's required, or how much clay is needed to make whatever I'm supposed to make. Okay, now that I get my little pyramid of pugs. I will mist it down with a bit of water and it can sit and wait. I won't get it at it today, so I'll get at it tomorrow. But mist it down and make the plastic this way. It's ready for me until I get ready. To make sure it is well covered, there's nothing more frustrating than plugging all that clay. And then after you've done a little bit of work, it's all dried out. So mist it down, tuck it in, I'll cover it twice with plastic. I will also tuck in the pug mill. I'll put plastic in here and in the front to make sure it, it doesn't dry out. You have to make sure you do cover it. I can't imagine what would happen if you left it till that was solid with clay. It would be unpleasant. <laughs> Pugging clay. <laughs>